What's up shifters? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video in beautiful New Jersey. Getting some really nice weather recently. Today we are taking that, my 2016 Volvo V60 Polestar that is bone stock, finally to the dyno. We are going to see how much baseline power this thing makes before we start adding some modifications like a downpipe from 88 Fab, a tune from Hilton, and some other stuff that I'll probably eventually buy down the line. But those are the first two things I wanna do. We wanna get a baseline, we wanna see exactly what kind of power we're making, stock, and then we are going to start doing the modifications. And if you missed it, I actually took this thing to the drag strip to get a baseline for the quarter mile time. And you can click the card above to check out that video. We did a really good time, 13.348, which was actually faster than stock. So I'm interested to see if this makes more power than stock today. This is listed at 345 horsepower and 362 pound feet of torque or 369 pound feet of torque. I will drop those numbers in the description below. I just have to double check them, make sure they're accurate, but 345 is 100% the accurate horsepower number from the factory. So we're gonna see if it makes that at the crank. Now I'll get with the dyno guys once I get there. It's prime motoring in Wallington, New Jersey, and basically there's some parasitic loss that happens on every dyno. So let's get there, let's talk to the guys, and let's see exactly what kind of power this thing is making. So like I just said, a 13.348 at the strip, which I'm really excited about. I didn't put this thing in, I said it in the actual dyno, or not dyno, at the strip video. Uh, I didn't put it in sport mode. I did actually have it in sport mode. Mode, what I didn't do is just let the car shift itself. So uh, I was doing all of the shifting manually and that I think may have gotten me a bit of a slower time. We'll never know because the next thing, I'm, next time I'm at the strip, I'll have a downpipe and a tune as well. So what we're gonna do is go back and see you know, what time we'll get next time. Other than that, I still love this car. It's so good. I'm on the highway just cruising, you know, 65, 70, 75 miles an hour, going with the flow of traffic. And other than the these bumps because they're doing road work here on Route 80 in New Jersey but other than these like bumps that you're you're seeing or probably well yeah probably seeing because I'm bobbling the camera in my hand um, but this thing is absolutely like glass on the highway. It's so nice. It's such a good cruiser. The road noise honestly is not horrible. Um, it is, you know, for a luxury car, it's definitely louder than it should be. Uh, but again, this is a performance luxury car, so you're gonna have a bit more road noise with bigger wheels, you know, summer tires, um, and things that are just, you know, not really optimized for, for, road, <laughs> for road comfort in every conceivable way. Other than that, I love this car. It's so good and we should be at the dyno in about 20 minutes. So I think let's make it about two seconds for you guys. So as we have been in the past, we're back here at Prime Motoring, like I said, in Wallington, New Jersey. And if you guys have a Subaru, you should be coming here because this is the place in the tri-state area to get anything done on a Subaru. Uh, they do other all-wheel drive cars, but really their specialty is Subaru, as you can clearly see. They even have a new 2022 WRX here, uh, which I'll talk about a, a little bit um, that they're doing some stuff with, but um, their bread and butter is Subarus, including that gorgeous little GC8 over there, which is sweet. Uh, love that and would really really love to do a build on something like that in you know the future when we have more money so please watch our videos but anyway we have the v60 strapped up to the dyno so let's head inside and let's see what it runs <laughs> It should be three, it's, they listed at 345, 362 at the crank. 393 torque. Yeah, that's about right. So these things are, are criminally underrated in torque. There are guys with like tunes and downpipes pushing out close to 500. Oh, okay, so yeah. that makes sense. It makes a lot of torque. 
It makes it a lot more fast too. So what was it? Uh, 393 torque and what was well, one on horsepower? 313. 313. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's that's it's way better than I. Horsepower's in line. Yeah. Um, the torque. That's, that's actually more than I thought. I thought it was going to be around 290 with about 18 percent loss. Yeah. So that's great. Pretty good. Let's go again. That's healthy. That actually went way better than I thought it would. Uh, Dimitri is the dyno master here, and he did, did some rips. We did it in fourth gear, and if you don't know anything about the dyno for anything, if you've never had a car on a dyno, basically what you want to do is you want to put it in the gear that's as close to a one-to-one -one ratio as humanly possible. In this car, it's fourth gear, which I believe is 1.115 or 1.155 to one ratio. Third gear is about a 1.55, so it's a little bit higher. You may get less horsepower reading. So with this fourth gear, we did all the pulls in fourth gear. Our best run was 313 on the power, so 313 horsepower, and 395 torque. And this is at the wheels, this is not crank. So this is listed at 345, 362 from factory, which as most of us in the Volvo community and the Pulsar community know, these things are criminally underrated in the torque department. These things are absolute torque monsters, especially the six cylinders, which this is. So with that said, we have a good reading. Um, it averaged 394. So the three torques were 393, 395, and 394. So we'll say 394 torque at the wheels, and it went 313, 308, 309. So we'll say about 310 on the wheel horsepower. So 310 wheel horsepower 394 wheel torque and that is pretty consistent with what others have had on these cars especially the six cylinder engine online i don't know how to pronounce your name if you're watching this i'm sorry vasily vasily or vasily or vassal i'm not sure but he has a channel which i'll also link in the description below where he does a ton of stuff on his uh t6 i believe it's an r design and he's basically like done a ton with this platform so he has gotten it up to i think 500 torque with tuning and 400 horsepower with tuning and stuff like that so that's sort of my goal is to get it 400 horsepower 500 torque this is a great start with a downpipe and a tune this thing should be an absolute monster and probably just a all-around fantastic daily so let's go check out the dyno sheet and then we can talk about exactly where we're picking up horsepower and where we're picking up torque so that you guys better know where this thing is making the power <laughs> all right so on my way back i don't have the dyno sheets yet um they are emailing them to me uh when i get them i will go in to the garage and we will talk about them but 313 395 as the best 310 uh, 311 and what was it 394 average at the wheels <laughs> that is a very healthy number wow i was not expecting it to be that high i mean i knew it was going to be higher than 362 because these things are torque monsters and uh, i think volvo really underrates these engines uh from factory so 345 362 from factory at the crank uh-uh wrong there is no chance in hell that that is a correct number. Um, 345, you know what? 345 might be pretty spot on, but the torque is way better than Volvo was rating it. Um, so these things are down low and mid-range monsters. And uh, as it's been confirmed on other six-cylinder engines on this platform in the P3 generation, uh, basically just confirmed that. But 393, wow, uh, or 394, uh, very, very happy with that. So with a down pipe a tune um, you know other upgrades like manifold intake turbo injectors all that stuff we're gonna be pushing 
very close, if not over 500 wheel torque, which is pretty bananas to think about in a little family wagon hatch thing <laughs> that, that Volvo made. And I love that. I think that's so cool. Um, so let's get home, let's get the dyno sheet, and we can show you exactly where we were making peak power and peak torque. So we're back. It's a little bit later in the day, but we are back in the garage as we've ended so many of these vlogs and will end so many in the future. This thing is a very impressive car. And when I bought it over a year ago, I bought this thing in February of 2021. When you're watching this, it is May of 2022. So I've had this car for just about a year and a couple of months. And over that year and a quarter, it's impressed me so much. It's comfy, it handles back roads amazingly, and now we know it's really powerful. It is a torque monster, and it does the quarter mile faster than what Volvo made it seem from factory. So I think it's a criminally underrated car, and I really foresee these sort of going up in value um, more so than some of the other rare Volvos over time. It doesn't have the nostalgia factor as some of the other ones, but it's just a performance monster that Volvo sort of didn't have back in the day. They, they always had, you know, performance focused models like the V70Rs, uh, the 855R, um, the turbo intercoolers from the 240. But like, this is really a, it's the sort of the last thing that Volvo made that's going to be a performance model, I think. And there is a new one, but it's heavy. It's hybrid. It's got a lot of, um, you know, new tech and all that's all well and good, but this is a real last sort of analog one that is, you know, not a manual, but it is just special with the inline six. So I'm very happy with the numbers. So with all that said, let's take a look at the dyno sheets. The dyno sheets I will drop here in the video because you, I want you guys to see them. So run one, two, and three were incredibly consistent. Uh, run one looked like it was 314 wheel horsepower and 393 wheel torque. Run two, I believe was 308 horsepower at the wheels and 395 wheel torque. And the last one was 309 wheel horsepower and 394. An average of about 310, 311, and 394. But max is what we're looking at over across these three graphs. And we got 314 and 395. So that is a very impressive number from stock at the wheels. I know that a bunch of other Polestar people have dynoed these things. And the thing to remember here with all of this stuff is every single dyno is different. Every single dyno is calibrated differently. Every single dyno reads differently. So take these numbers with a bit of a grain of salt because it's probably going to be different than other dynos that you've seen out there. The important thing to remember here is we have a baseline to go by when we start to mod. That's the important thing. I'm not saying this is the most powerful stock V60 Polestar ever made. Like that would be a great clickbait title for this thing, but it's not real because we'd have to have every car use the same dyno. So not a real thing. Is it a powerful car, you know, from factory? And did they underrate it? Yeah, they definitely did. There are other people making above factory numbers, even with parasitic losses out there. So underrated car for sure from factory. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna get a downpipe on here. I've spoken with Josh over at 88 Fab. Uh, his welds and his work is really, really amazing. There's other great companies out there, I'm sure. Um, Ferita, TME, they make great stuff. But if it's my money, and it is, I'm getting it from Josh. His welds are incredible. The work is beautiful. I've had his work on my old V70R. I won't go anywhere else for exhaust work ever on a Volvo ever again. That's just hands down, flat out what's happening. I'm gonna pick up that one from him and then we're gonna toss it on. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do quarter mile times and we're gonna do dyno times or dyno power numbers with the downpipe. Then we're gonna tune it in each location. I think I'm gonna go with Hilton, but I'm just gonna explore different options. Then we're going to see what happens with the downpipe alone and then a downpipe and a tune for each location. Um, I'm hoping to get into the 12s in the quarter mile and I think we can push over 500 torque at the crank on this thing because for, for what this did today, if you go for parasitic loss, even at 12%, it's at like 448 at the crank, which is absurd. So take it, again, take it with a grain of salt because your dyno numbers or dyno numbers that you've seen probably gonna be a little bit different because it's not the same dyno. 
Either way, I'm super stoked and I hope that this video was informative to you in some way or you enjoyed it. All that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to this channel. We're trying to grow this thing and make cool videos for you. The more that you guys watch and share these things, the more we can make more videos for you. Maybe someday we can even make this our day job, which would be so, so cool. Thank you for watching. My name is Gregson. If you want to follow us, it's at Shifting Lanes anywhere, any social media. We stream live every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the U.S. over on our Facebook page and on our third YouTube channel, which is Shifting Lanes Live. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.